All State Black against St. Clair Saints Gold. It's going to be Red, Yultor, and Variety up against Barris, Christian, and Vesh. Both teams fighting for their tournament lives, trying to make it to day two in the lower bracket here. Absolutely. I'm excited for this game. The gold team, Barris, Christian, and Vesh, absolute powerhouse of a team. As we see down the goal, Christian trying to make something happen. Barris to follow it up, and just almost there. Vesh trying to get the equalizer there, but sadly couldn't get it. Christian now up on the back. Vesh hoping to get the goal, but just close, trying to pop it up for his team. But Ryu is there to set it out back on the side, say to the sides. Yeah, it can, looks like the Saints have started off on the right foot. Here they are on the attacking end. Barris leaves it for Besh, who looks to give it back. That's a shot on target, but not enough pace on that one to be real threat. Variety able to find the save. Besh misses that touch up there. So it's going to be Rio trying to get it out of their half. Of Ball State just cannot get out of their variety. Now, going to have a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Is there any follow-up from the blue team? Can they find the goal here? I thought that was a great chance for them, but Saints get back in time. Variety, though, finds a shot on target. Barris is there with a nice save. Absolutely beautiful performance from Ball State. We're still on the side of the Saints. They're still keeping up the pressure. Oh! And beautiful goal what? from Variety. That was an amazing angle right from the top. I didn't think he had a chance of putting this one in, but gets the perfect angle and gives Ball State Black an early goal seemingly out of nothing. That is a beautiful thing about Rocket League is the angles can get very, very slim. You can go from top to left to bottom to right. Anywhere is an angle to shoot from in Rocket League. And now we see Saints taking it back on the side of Ball State. Christian's up there and we is. got a goal from Vash to equalize the scoreboard. Yeah, Saints, I mean, they're getting opportunity after opportunity. I think they're looking a little bit better than Ball State Black at the moment. An easy goal there from Avesh as they tie the game up at one apiece. Absolutely beautiful. Now we'll see what happens here with three minutes left on the clock. Back on the side of the Saints. Vesh is going to take it up and pass Alter. Now Ryu and Variety there. Variety bangs it out. Barrist up on the wall. Down. Didn't make anything happen there. Christian is up, hopefully to make something with a flip. Sadly, nothing to come out from that. Nothing there for the Saints. It's going to be Ball State able to stay alive in this one. It's tie game with three minutes to go. Vesh looking for a pass there. Almost gets it there. Won't be able to get that one. Saints trying some clever plays here, and I'm liking it from them. But Ball State doing a good job of staying alive in this one. Absolutely beautiful. Christian trying to pass it out to Barris, but oh, she gets a bomb on Variety. Ultra on the back. Vesh bangs it out to Barris. Barris to follow it up. Over Ryu, banged him. And Variety getting it back on the side of the Saints, where Christian is ready with 100 boost to get it back over there. Over one, almost over two. Christian is up to follow it, sadly couldn't. And Altor is looking to bring it back on the side of the Saints. Over Vesh, almost, and a bit too high for goal. That was a, almost a good pass, but great defense from the Saints still tied it to a piece and Ball State Black have definitely turned the intensity up a notch. Not a lot of chances for the Saints since that goal is it's going to be Ball State looking for an opportunity. Is Vesh going to get a touch on that one? Yes, he does. Able to clear that one out. Variety though will be here looking to stop anything from happening. Iltor can't find anything. It's going to be Variety again. Just putting it back into that corner, hoping that something happens. Variety doesn't have enough boost to get up to that one. It's going to be Rio looking for a pass to a teammate Christian, able to find the clear. It's going to be another clear from Yultor as both teams just kind of playing a bit of ping pong. Yeah, we saw a little bit of a bump there from Altor and Ryu, but we're back on the same side. Variety leading the charge. Hopefully pass out to his teammate. Vesh there to deny it. Christian is up over Ryu. Now to Altor. Barris is looking for a demo maybe. Nope, but coming back on the side of the Saints. Vesh is there to touch it. Altor there to defend it out, get it back out. And Barris there to touch it, get it back up to Vesh. Vesh can't make anything happen because Variety just banged it a little out of his way. But now we got Christian following it up. Demo and hopefully getting it out of the side. 
Yeah, one minute remaining. Ultor gets a shot, but there is a defender to stop that one. Variety completely misses that one. Could that come back to bite? Ball stayed in Rio and Variety both get demoed. It's a chance for Saints there with two players demoed. Got a lot of space to work with now as they have the setup they want. They have all the rotations they could ever need and the boost, but it doesn't look like they can get too much off the stack. Another miss there comes out. Ultor will be there to find the clearance. Doesn't have any boost. All he got was that one little touch. Christian gets a nice pass towards the middle. Nice defense again from Ball State as St. Clair are putting on all the pressure but have 20 seconds to try and finish this game in regular time. One last opportunity here. Rio will find the clearance, picks up that boost as well. And that, with that pickup, this game might be going over to overtime. Absolutely. I think this game is going to overtime and first game of the season at the match. I think this is going to be looking like a fun overtime on the offside. Unless. Oh. Close. Unless there was a player there to finish that one off. We're off to our first overtime of the series. Tied up at one apiece. Both teams getting a goal relatively early in the game, but after that, pace seemed to slow down. Absolutely. It's starting to slow down. Orto's trying to take this over to Vesh. Vesh almost over Rio. Rio just defended out. Ultor there. We get a flip reset. Just about almost over Barris. Harris is back now, hopefully, to find something. Christian to touch it, maybe even get a follow-up pass. Nope, but Barris there to challenge it. Back onto the side of Ball State. Vesh is there to bang it out. Ryu's there to get a touch. Christian almost for a goal oh. and just blocked out by Ball State. I mean, Saints definitely have all of the pressure here, but it's a counterattack for Ball State still. You can see Christian sitting all the way back, making sure nothing silly happens. They don't randomly lose this game as Ball State have an opportunity here. Nice clearance, though, coming out from the Saints. Christian now going to take it alone. Gets around the defender. Has it in a very dangerous position. The follow-up's here from Barris. That shot's just off the post. Saints cannot find this goal as Ball State have another opportunity to bring this one back. I mean, Saints have put on so much pressure, but can't get anything to get in the net. And now one mistake could cause disaster. Yeah, it was a beautiful follow-up from Barris. Sadly, to no appeal. But now we're back on the side of the Saints where they got to put their defense to the test. Now, Christian up to try and make something happen. Barris to bang it out to the side of Ball State. The altar is there to meet it. Vesh to hopefully counter that. Barris trying to cause some chaos there. Sadly, nothing to appeal. Christian there, hit it over to Barris, who's got some boost to play with. Over one to follow up. Just going to grab the boost, play for a bump. Vesh is behind him, there and we got is. the goal on Vesh to close out the game. That's going to be a nice goal from Vesh. Picks up the game winner for the Saints. And in overtimes today, the Saints have been perfect, have not lost one so far. I don't want to say that one at the beginning of overtime because, you know, caster curse, but they are going to find the victory here. And they put themselves one game away from being, uh, from advancing in the lower bracket. Absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely great to get that momentum, to get that overtime goal, to put a positive mind into the players on the side of Saints. Wouldn't you agree? I, I have to agree. I mean, they had so many good chances, the Saints did that game. I'm expecting a lot more goals in the second game, but Ball State did do a pretty good job of hanging on in there. They even had the lead at one point, but I definitely feel like the Saints have shown with their opportunities in the last, uh, last game that they're capable of scoring a lot more goals if they just get a few more uh, angles to go their way. I think they might score at least three this next game. Absolutely. I wouldn't put it past Ball State to give us a little bit of the same action that we saw on the side of the Saints green team. But ultimately, I think Saints gold has got this in the bag. Their team seems composed, seems organized, seems like they know who's going next, who's the next man, who's the defender, who's the sharpshooter. And I think they've got this in the bag. They just need to come together as a team and pull through. Yeah, there weren't many times when there was like an open net for the Saints, just a random collapse. So a great job from our goal team of playing this matchup. Barris going to go for early attack. Can't find anything there. If Saints can start off with a goal early, they will definitely be in the driver's seat to close out this series. That was a nice opportunity for them there. But nice defense from Ultor keeps it a 0-0 game. Absolutely, and we saw a little bit of demos coming out there. Ryu now up, make a pass, hopefully for his teammate. Sadly not. Barris there to black it out. Christian there, coming out, back on the side of Ball State, up for Ryu from Variety. But Vesh is there, bang it out, and Variety is there to bang it back. Now, 
Ferris trying to make something happen. No boost. But Vesh was there to just get it out of his grasp. Ferris just making a touch on it. And it's going to be Saints with the possession here. Christian gets in the corner. Nice pass to Vesh. And he gets it under the defender. Beautiful play there from Vesh. You could see the goalkeeper guessed that he was going to hit it high. And he just kept it on the ground. Beautiful shot from Vesh. Saints take an early 1-0 lead. I would not expect anything else but from our overtime scorer to start off this game strong with four minutes left on the clock. Let's see how Ball State can react to this. We've got Ryu up for the ball, pass it down to his teammate, almost there, but Barris there to defend it. Variety going for a pinch to Alter. He's going up, hopefully to follow it up. Christian's there, Variety's on the wall with zero boost, both zero boost. Now we've got Vesh there, a little bit of bump on the side of the Saints. Ryu is there to follow it up. Misses the touch, and Vesh there to keep it on the side of Ball State. Yeah, and the Saints, I mean, they're doing a great job of keeping pressure. They're going to pass that one back and a restart their attack. Christian going to take it around one, looks for a pass here off the back, but it's nice defense from Ball State Black. They don't want to allow another goal. The Saints have looked so, so dangerous on this attack. Christian gets a touch, it's not on target, so. Not too much danger, but Ball State, they need to start getting their own opportunities they want to come back into this series. Absolutely, and something I love about this St. Clair team is that they're keeping one man back just in case something happens. And as we're seeing from Ball State, they're putting on the pressure, they're putting on a lot of goals and a lot of shots here, but sadly, nothing to appeal. Vesh now to follow it up, hopefully get something started. Christian coming up after him. Sadly, nothing to their appeal because Variety's going to bang it back to the side of the Saints. And Saints are completely fine with this kind of back and forth kind of game. They are up a goal and I mean, there's no real dangerous opportunities for Ball State so far in this game. And we're halfway through this one. Saints happily going to continue playing this game as Christian might have a dangerous opportunity himself. Can he find the pass? Nice defense there. Burst going to look for the follow-up. Gets it to himself, but not in time. Variety yet again finds it clear. Burst almost had a good one. We won there, but now oh we're on the side of Saints. And the almost close goal. But Vesh leaves there to get it out. Christian there, hopefully get it back on the side of Variety. Variety just gets it past him. Ryu coming up. Vesh to block it out and follow it up. Now we're back on the side of Saints. Come on, we gotta get it out. Christian is coming up. Ball State is putting on the pressure right now and the Saints have got to react. I mean, they're doing a decent job so far. A couple dangerous chances though for Ball State. Black as Vesh looks to take that one, gets beat to it. Christian is gonna clear that one on into the corner. Saints have the control here. Barris looking to take it around the defender. Beautiful solo goal there from Barris. Plays it perfectly off of the defender. We'll see it one more time here. Likes to take the short touch and Variety just can't get there in time. Barris gets a crucial second goal for the Saints. It's a beautiful touch there from Barris as a beautiful dash to give him that little touch to just get around the defender but now we're coming back on the side of the Saints almost over Vesh. Vesh just gets a touch and Christian is there to follow it up. I mean anytime in the air Vesh that's kind of his speciality knows how to get to every single ball does a great job of getting to it there that could have been a quick goal for Ball State Black but now that things have settled Saints are going to be very happy with how this is playing out Ball State don't really have too much opportunity there's going to be another shot on target Ultor has to make the save there to keep it in reach for the side of Ball State Black but Saints playing defense flawlessly in this series only allowing the one goal earlier on nice save there from Christian on a shot on target that could have been a dangerous opportunity there's Christian yet again after getting the save going up and they're getting a crucial touch as every single second matters so much for both sides. Remember, winner, it goes through. Loser is out of the tournament. And both these teams so close to making day two. Just one more victory needed after this series. It looks like the Saints are going to be the ones who are able to do that feat. It's 47 seconds and ticking. Christian going to find that touch onto Ultor. But the more time that clocks, uh, that ticks down for the Saints, the better their chance of winning becomes. Absolutely. The Saints are sitting comfortably right now with two goals. 30 seconds left on the clock. They're not looking to pressure too much. They're just looking to keep the ball on the side of Ball State so that they can take this series and take this match. Yeah, you can see they could have went for a goal there, but they decided not to do so. Just playing around with that is nice defense. That should be all she wrote. Saints might get a third Vesh. Looking to tap one in just off the crossbar there. About 10 seconds and counting. 
soon as this book clock reaches zero, your Saints will be moving on to loser bracket finals, I believe, as they will be one game away from going over to day two. And the pole hasn't touched down just yet. I mean, it's just a matter of time at this point. Both teams just trying to keep it up. There you go, the Saints spike it. They take the series two to zero and they remain in the tournament. It's beautifully done by the Saints gold team. Great execution, great passing plays. Greatly done by Vesh as well. He got some great plays there as well. And overall as a team, they played together, they played well and they got the win. Yeah, great, great job from our team there. And we have one more match left. It's going to be our Saint taking on a very strong team in Maryville University, a name that we have heard a lot on this Saint stream. So, I mean, one final match to make it to day two, Saints against Maryville. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that this is going to be a match to watch. This is going to be interesting. Like, as you said, Maryville is a name that we know here at Saints very well, not only in Rocket League, but in other scenes like Valorant and League of Legends. They're a formidable team. They're a formidable school. And I think it's going to be a challenge, but I think that the gold team can get over it. Yeah, I mean, gold team, they showed how good they are in that game. I mean, defensively, they are just amazing. So I think their defense is going to be their key. And with the with the stars that they have with Vesh up front, just finding all the plays needed in the air and setting up himself and his teammates, I mean, makes the game so much easier for the rest of the squad. Absolutely, like the theme composition that they have, the plays, the kind of style that they have with keeping one man back is absolutely beneficial for them getting those rounds and getting those wins and getting those goals. They play very keenly and they play very well organized. And I think that is in part to, if I'm not wrong, Christian who makes a lot of plays calling out there. Yeah. Wherever I'm in the pit, wherever I'm like hearing them play on stage, I can always hear Christian's voice coming out because he's leading the squad to victory. Yeah, and he's going to need to lead the squad to one more victory against Maryville. We're going to throw it to a very, very quick break, but don't go anywhere. You won't want to miss this one. 